Hey guys, it's Gabriel. Um, I just wanted to make a another video update on my espresso coffee setup. Um, now that I acquired a few things for Christmas and actually even before Christmas, but I received a couple of requests um, asking me to provide an update, so I'm gonna do that for you. Um, the first update that I did was replace my Compact K3 with the Mazer Super Jolly. Um, the reason I replaced my Compact is number one, it was a clumping monster. Um, it's definitely not a bad grinder. It's just, you know, for some reason, I guess maybe mine or, I mean, I don't know, but it was just, you know, clumping so much. Um, this is an issue that I don't have with the Super Jolly. This is the electronic dozerless. And um, so far, I love it. I bought it used, only had like 300 shots on it. Um, it was manufactured in 2015. It was pretty much brand new. And um, I I got it a lot cheaper than what I, what I would have paid for it. Um, I just replaced the, you know, hopper. I got a mini hopper on it because the big one, I don't even use the hopper. I just single those most of the time. So um, because of that, I didn't need the big hopper that came with it. So I'm in the process of selling that and I got the Mazu Mini hopper. So um, the other change that I did was I replaced or I um, switched the place of the grinder. If you look at my previous videos, I used to have um, the you know grinder in the middle and then the machine was on the was all the way to the left where um, the grinder is that's no longer the case the reason I made the um, exchange or the reason I switched it was because I needed more room for steaming which is something that I have now when I used to have the grinder next to the machine on this side I didn't have enough room to actually steam so I like it this way better um, and also now let me show you some of the stuff that I received for Christmas. So the, oh, and, um, another thing I did, I added these rubber feet here to hold the, uh, the grinder. And the reason I did so is because when I make adjustments on the, the collar, um, oftentimes it would just, the grinder would would move just because the color adjustment obviously it's it's not too easy and it shouldn't be just because if they would make it too easy then it will start move it will start moving when when you start you know grinding so it makes sense that it's pretty tough to um, rotate it um, so I added those those feet and they really look nice they match the same feet that I have on the Rancelio Sylvia um, they also come pretty handy with the Rancelio, so when you take out your porta filter, the machine doesn't move. As you can see here. Okay. So, um, let me show you a couple of the new toys that I got for Christmas. So, this is what I have here. So, for Christmas, my wife got me these um and cap mugs these are latte mugs um they take like 10 ounce or so and i actually love them they look really nice let me show you and cap okay I also got a V60, which is awesome. If you like coffee that's um, light bodied, you want to go with a V60. Um, it's an awesome device to make light body coffee. Um, it's kind of like the opposite of French press taste wise. And moving on to the next thing, I got an air press right here okay this is my pour over this is my coffee pour over station it's kind of separate from my espresso station 
and as you can see I have the Bonavita scale, I have Bonavita cattle. Um, you can see this, this stuff in the previous videos, I didn't change um, anything compared to the last video. Um, I have the AeroPress now, as you can see. Another thing I got for Christmas and I didn't have on the table here just because I didn't have enough space. I don't, I still don't have enough space, but um, I just moved it here just to show it to you guys. It is a siphon. This is a Yama 5 cup siphon. It's awesome. It makes really nice, smooth coffee. Um, it's not bitter, it's not sour. That cloth filter does an awesome job in um, really giving you great tasting coffee. Um, so that's pretty much what I got for Christmas. That's the updated station, as you can see. I can try and go back here, show you. Just kind of like a quick. That's it. So hope you uh, like what I have here and if you have any comments or questions or suggestions just leave them down in the comments below.